Grazie Dio. Mi hai lasciato invecchiare 86 anni. Ma hai dimenticato di darmi la forza di portare ancora questa macchina fotografica. Se piuttosto mi facessi tornare giovane, See this from the museum. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. I must have fallen asleep. I'd like a portrait. Are they really free? Yes, yes they are. If you tell me why you want a portrait. You think I'm really silly, but I'd rather tell this to a stranger than anyone I know. No, you may tell me. Believe me, I know about keeping secrets. <clears throat> My fiance and I had a terrible fight last night, and I'm afraid he's gonna ask for his ring back. I don't know much about engagement rings, miss. Never bought one myself. Aw, that's sad. I mean, if you've never been married or engaged or... Why a portrait then? I want to know how sad my face is. To remember, in case... I understand. It will be my pleasure, Miss... Miss? Please call me Ashley. No last name. I'm embarrassed as it is. May I ask your name? That's well, Angeli. That's hey, Italian, Italian, by comunque. the way. Like Garden Angel? Lo Spell it with two L's? And... As you can see, I don't look like an angel. That's a really unusual name. You're not from here. America, I mean. No, I'm not. Why don't you go have a seat when I'm sitting and we'll see about your portrait, okay? Is this okay? 
Do I look sad? Relax and be yourself. I'm just gonna make a few adjustments, okay? Okay. That's got it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hold still, okay? All right, all right. All done, Miss Ashley. Oh, that was quick. You only took one. Yes, one It's all I need. When can... Uh, tomorrow? I'll have a print for you tomorrow, okay? I'll be right here, right in this spot. Thank you, Mr. Angeli. See you tomorrow. sure you'd be here. No, I told you that I have a print for you, so here it is. Can I tell you some news first? If that makes you happy. My fiance and I made up last night, Mr. Angeli. I know, Ashley. But how? Okay, I gotta go. So long, Ashley. But that's him, my fiance. He wasn't here. How could he be in this photograph? Does it really matter? I guess not. I'm just so happy that you guys are not splitting up. It's not important, trust me. Now, you better hurry. You don't want to be late to work. I don't understand. It was here just a little while ago. I'll never forget you, Mr. Angeli. Even though I don't understand how you did this. Hey, are you really doing portrait with that old camera out here? That I am. Would you like your portrait done? I'm afraid I don't understand the part about telling you why, like your sign says. It helps me to know why. If I know a little bit about you, then I can make a better portrait. To tell you the truth, I'm on my way to the hospital to start radiation therapy for an inoperable lung tumor. 
My doctor isn't very optimistic, but says I have nothing to lose. And I don't know if I'm going to look like this for very long. So when I saw your sign, I understand completely. Please take my spot on the bench. tumor. Huh. I didn't catch what you just said. Uh, let me adjust the lens. No. That is, uh, that's, that's better now. That's better now. Hold still right there, okay? All right. All right. I'll stop by here tomorrow, anytime. I will have your torture ready, okay? Well, thanks, that's generous you, man. It's gonna mean a lot to my children when... I understand and you are very welcome. I should ask your name. Petsball Angeli with two L's. It's Italian, by the way. Thank you again, Mr. Angeli. I'm Robert Decker. You didn't bring your camera today. Not every day is a shooting day. Today I am delivering prints. This is gonna sound really strange to you, but it turns out I don't have lung cancer after all. Well, that's certainly wonderful news. I guess they made a terrible mistake. Maybe they gave me the wrong scan. They almost gave me those terrible treatments. You know, I survived two tours in Afghanistan. Those idiots almost killed me. But they didn't. They said something like the scan didn't work right, so they tried another one. And? They said the tumor was completely gone, like it had never been there. No tumor, no treatments. I'll get to see my kids grow up, and I'll always have this portrait to remind me of this wonderful day. Dad, you will. All right, are you really gonna get going? So long, Robert. Oh my God, that's a portrait of my clean, healthy lung. But how?
whoa, whoa, whoa. Check this guy out. Might be something in it for us. It's like an antique camera. I think it's worth. I don't care, but let's go have some fun. What's up, man? The man asked you a question. You better answer it or you didn't get hurt. Look at this guy. Doesn't look like he has much time left anyways. Not at all. So you take pictures of other people, I mean, why not us? I mean, we're real good looking. You don't understand. The selection process is not what you think it is. I'm not stupid. Hey! Leave that guy alone. You know better. You better mind your own business, Michelle. I knew you guys when you were good. <laughs> Before you turned bad. <laughs> You're bad, all right. So I'll ask you again, why wouldn't you take our picture? You better have a damn good reason. So the others needed help, so I helped them. That doesn't make any sense. How, how is a picture gonna help someone? You know, you better take our picture or your uh, camera may have a little accident. Better do as my buddy says. So tell you what, what do you want to suppose? The bench? I wish I could make you understand for your own good, but if that's what you want, go ahead and have a seat on that bench. Pretty or what? I'll make some adjustments and uh, we'll be ready, okay? All right. So that's got it now. Hmm. Ready, guys? We're always ready. Come on, take the goddamn picture. Okay. So, when's it gonna be ready? Uh, tomorrow, right here, actually. So, anytime. So make us a bunch. We got like family and friends and fans. You know what I mean. Don't worry. I will make you all you need, okay?
Excuse me, sir. Yeah. <sighs> yes, just uh, taking these old bones home from the park. Uh, how can I help you, officer? I wouldn't use this park. It's very dangerous. This whole area is very dangerous. It's not safe for anyone. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I'll be fine. We had a shooting in this park yesterday afternoon. We can give you a ride home, no problem. No, thank you, I appreciate the offer. I, I found this envelope on that bench over there. Sure you don't need a ride? Uh, positive, thank you for the offer, officer. Dedicato a mio padre, Giustiniano Benjamin Tolosa.